<clears throat> Hello, on good day, uh, evening. I was going to say afternoon for a minute then. This is a video response to you evangelicals, if that's how it's pronounced as. If you so happen to be worshipping Christmas within its pagan traditions, then you're not of God's kingdom, and the presence of the Lord does not reside within you. When you've been brought into the world at baby birth on the same old lie and the same old false narrative throughout your life, you begin to awaken to the truth. And if you know the truth, the biblical truth, then the truth shall set you free. So... Like I said, if you happen to be worshipping this pagan tradition, the presence of the Lord is not within you. You could preach all of the truthful words from the gospel, even the ugly parts of the gospel, where you're bound to offend people. They mean nothing. You're not even doing the will of God. If you are worshipping this pagan tradition. In other words, you can't be the girlfriend of Satan and expect to do the work of God at the same time. You know, that is just not going to happen. And I couldn't care less how smart you think you are. You're not smart. And you're most definitely not awoken to the truth yet. You're still spiritually blinded. So I'm going to leave this with you, like I said, to reflect on. You have free will to make your own choices, but that does not mean that people are going to be free from any said consequences and punishments to their actions for choosing the wrong paths in life. Especially when being warned as to what would happen. You chose to abuse your free will by thinking your life is of your own. Now you have to reap what you sow. And you have to bear that weight upon your shoulders. And use it in order to grow and evolve. Into becoming more biblical. And there we have it folks. So... If I wrap this video up, like I said, if you're worshipping Christmas, this pagan tradition, as you will, whilst claiming to be an uh, evangelical, you know, you're not doing the will of God. You're not doing what God called you to do because you're worshipping a pagan tradition, which is of false gods and false idols, whilst... Convincing yourself that you're doing the will of God at the same time. Like I said, that's like being kissed by the devil. And then expecting to be a follower slash disciple slash saint of God himself through his son, Jesus Christ, via the Holy Spirit. And you're in for one rude awakening. I am telling you now. And it's going to be very uncomfortable when the truth actually begins to hit home. Especially when you don't really want to hear it. But when you've been on your own for quite some time, you begin to adjust to the change. You begin to adjust to the reality for what it really is. The reality being not of this world. Rather, it is biblical. It is spiritual. And it offers... Those trapped within the matrix and their own worldly programmed feelings and emotions, freedom 
as well as peace of mind and peace of heart if you are willing to put in that work in order to break free. Peace be with you all. Stay out of trouble. Be safe. But most of all and most importantly, drink plenty and repent of this deception that you can follow this pagan tradition and celebrate this uh, pagan tradition and then expect to uh, be an evangelical of God because like I said I can guarantee any of you watching this video you're not sent by God you are doing the devil's work you can't serve two masters it's either one or the other Hence why I see so much conflict of interest and spiritual war going on within people. Because they're serving two masters. You cannot and will not ever, and I mean ever, serve two masters. It is impossible. And let this be a life lesson, like I said. Let this video be a life lesson in order to help you into making the right choices and right decisions. It's going to hurt every one of you for a while that don't really want to hear the truth. But like I said, when you spend time alone and you begin to accept it and adjust to the change, as well as the real reality, as I'd like to call it, then it no longer bothers you. It doesn't bother you. And it never will. Because you're at peace with it all. Because you know the truth. And you have been set free from the truth. And as long as you can focus on that. And keep on putting all of your. Time. Effort. And focus within that. Then God like I said will continue. To bless and reward you for obeying the truth, whether you like it or not. And there we have it.